Welcome everyone. Welcome to The Verse with your host Ando, author, Bible teacher, and coach. The Verse podcast is a place where the focus is on God. Here in our podcast, we believe there is a treasure in God's Word. Once found, we increase in faith, in love for God and for one another, and in ability to stay in His presence. As a result, our lives and of those around us change for the better. Your help spreading these messages is much needed. Your financial support will keep us on air. Therefore, we ask you to continue to follow us, share our messages, pray for us, and support us financially. You can give via the PayPal link below. Thanks again for being part of us in helping believers believe. So today we're going to focus on the, word, the, the name, knowing that praying in the name of the Lord, that's where we get the rewards. Okay, that's where we get the rewards. The rewards are there, the good ones. Okay, the good rewards are there because we pray as we were told to pray in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. As again said last uh, teaching, that what does it mean or look like to pray in the will of the Lord to the Father? And in the name of the Lord, we discussed that lengthy, but I want to extend a little bit to the name now, focusing on the name of the Lord. And why though? Why? Because as we do so, we bring forth what we need and it lives and it stays with us. That's why it's very, very important for us to pray in that name so we can have the reward. Because as we're going to the scripture, Psalm 127, we're going to read those three scriptures today. Psalm 127 and Acts chapter 4 and Revelation chapter 14. Those three, we're going to, I hope we will be able to do that. So starting from Psalm 127 verse 1, we want to know why in the name, why do this Praying in the name of the Lord. How important is it? Because in there, that's where the rewards are. Glory to God. Look, the Bible says, Psalm 127 verse 1, it says, Unless the Lord build the house, the worker or the builder are doing it in vain. Unless the Lord protect the city, those who protect or the guardians, they also do in vain. And we don't want to engage in anything and yield nothing. No, even prayer. We want not to pray amiss because it's written. You say, you ask, some of you, you really try. You're really asking. You're really committed. But why you are not getting it? Why you are not receiving it? Why you are not seeing it happen? Because you are praying amiss. You are praying without the Lord. You are praying outside the Lord. You are praying for your own name, for your own desires, your own ambitions. No wonder there's nothing. (laughs) So let's go again. That's Psalm 127. Why we have to pray in the name, right? In the name of the Lord. And that name, as I said earlier, got to be revealed. Every time you go to prayer, it has to be. Glory to God. Let's go to um, Revelation. Thank you, Jesus. I'm using New Living Translation today. All right. Revelation chapter 14 why in the name, glory to God. And as I say, that because it's a work, when you work, when you engage in something, you are expecting something, okay? And that's something you want it to be a quality thing, 
good thing because you put your work into it. You travailed, you labored, you invested. So you need a reward. And our God for sure is a rewarder. But he can reward something done outside his name. He gonna reward, he gonna take that upon himself if it was done in him. It makes sense, right? Yes, it does. So Revelation 14, let's go to 13 there. Um, yeah. It's uh, the revelator saying, ah, and I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this down. Blessed are those who die in and the Lord from now on. <laughs> yes, says the spirit, they are blessed indeed for they will rest from their hard work for their good deeds follow them. They are blessed even if they are dead. Why? Because they did all that they did in the name of the Lord. Someone can say, says, whoever's doing whatever that is, be it building, be it girding, be it, I mean, any labor, doing it outside the name, you're doing it in vain. Uh, and now Revelation is telling us, you are blessed, man and woman of God, if you do the praying, because we are talking about praying, that's why we focus on praying. So you can say any the other thing here, you can plug any other thing here, but for the sake of our topic, we're saying, you are praying, you are praying uh, devotions, you are, you are, you are time with the Lord in prayer, is yielding some rewards. Why? Because it's not in vain. It's not for a miss. You're going to receive because you did what? You involved God. You involved the Lord. You did it inside him. That's why rewards are sure. That's why rewards are are there for you. And those rewards, even if you go to sleep or go to you enter eternity, the Bible tell me they those things, the rewards, they're gonna follow. Imagine they following you. I can't help but think that the words we speak are life, a spirit in their life. That's why even when you sleep, you with the body slept, died in the Lord, you still followed by what you created with the words. But what you spoke forth, you, you made it exist. And as I said before, that the spirit doesn't die. <laughs> you died. Blessed are those who die in the Lord. You died. As a human being, you died, but because you created a spirit in your speech, in your prayer, you're going to have to live that existing, living, moving, following, rewarding. Why? Because what you create in a spirit doesn't die. You see? So the blessings, the rewards... Keep being here and maybe you're going to affect your grandchildren. It's going to affect your spouse. It's going to affect your children, your community. It's going to affect whoever that you directed this, those prayers to. Because as you send them, they are going and they are going to do or perform what you have sent them. Just like Jesus was told, please just speak a word. My servant will be healed. And that's what happened. Okay, so as you pray, man and woman of God, as you pray, as you engage in prayer, in the name of the Lord, know that what you are speaking forth is not just going to just disappear. You are literally sending it forth and it will be existing, doing that which you have commanded it. You know why it is so? Because we are created in the image of the Lord and in his likeness. After his likeness, I mean. As we know, wherever he spoke, he said he's watching to, call, to have it perform what he intended. 
you also and me believe today that wherever you speak in prayer, you send it to a, a for somebody to be healed or for somebody to change or for the city, for the country. I mean, whatever you speak in prayer, sending it there, know that it literally go. And because it has ability to, to, to go there, it's there. Distance is not nothing. Even if you don't have somebody there with you, you sending healing, it's going to go there. Because it's a spirit. Spirit don't have boundary. Doesn't have limitation. Don't have time. Don't have, oh my goodness, it's, it travels. So continue speaking. We are in he, after his likeness, what he did, he spoke and things happened. We are able to speak and things will happen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you're going to get that one and store it. Practice that likeness of God. After Go after the like, likeness of the Lord. Use that image you have from your creator so that you can speak and expect them to exist and do what you send it to do glory to god hallelujah so he said they follow them because they they are them they are not here but the effect of those prayers the what you created it continues even when you are gone so that's why it's very important for you to do all you're doing in prayer inside the Lord so you can have the reward, so you can create the spirit, you can create the life and allow it to go and perform. Glory to God. So we're going to go to the second, uh, the third uh, verse, which is in Acts. And we're going to be through the reason why we need to pray in the name of the Lord. There is greater uh, reasons here and we will be um, good if we follow that because we don't want to do anything in vain. We want to be effective and we want to do uh, as we are, <clears throat> are commanded. You know, you have to want to follow Jesus, right? You have to listen. God himself said, this is my son. <laughs> To whom I am well pleased. Obey what he is telling you. And what did he tell us about prayer? He said, ask your father in my name. And you're going to surely receive. So that's what we're learning. Glory to God. So Acts 4. We're going to look at Peter and John. Their boldness. What they did, I mean, is supposed to be... <laughs> imitated hallelujah i'm gonna start verse um five verse five so this is peter and john before the council i mean they were accused because they were performing stuff <laughs> they were making things happen and uh, those opposers they were like Ooh, we, we don't want this to continue we ought to uh Hold them, not to allow them to continue speaking inside this name. My God. So let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Having the rewards and those rewards you follow wherever you go. Affecting you and affecting those around you. And not just around, far and near. Globally, you can have the impact globally. You can send a prayer anywhere. And believe it's gonna reach there and do what you 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 were led to do. And know that being in the spirit even is better. Praying in the Holy Spirit even much better. Accuracy is there, uh, and and time timely. You know you'll be in time. You'll be you you, you know you're gonna be accurate, and they, they they're gonna go with the power back to with the power, and you're gonna have the mind of God. I mean you're gonna be better. Praying in the name of the Lord and also under the leading of the Holy Ghost is better that way. Glory to God. So let's go verse 4. 
No, no, no. Verse 5. It says like this. The next day, the council of all the rulers and elders and teachers of the relig religious law met in Jerusalem. So they saw something happen there and they had to go and meet. Whew. They're sitting down for somebody. Number six, Annas, the high priest, was there along with the Caiaphas, John Alexander, and other relatives of the high priest. They brought in two disciples and demanded, By what power or in whose name have you done this? <laughs> they demand, they question, because they're in a meeting. And they called these two who performed a miracle, you know, and, you know, uh, and did some good, good work there inside the name. We talk about praying in the name. If they did in the name and they got miracles, signs, and wonder, we can pray in the name as we were commanded or instructed, and we are going to expect miracles, signs, and wonders, results to take place. I remember in Revelation, say when we pray, uh, you know, the rewards or the effect come down in thunder and lightning. And you can literally see the thunder and lightning and shaking. That's a reward. That's an action. That's a product of praying in the, the inside the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah. So, and they say, okay, they were asked, what power, by what power, and in whose name have you done this? There, there they go, number eight. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost. Hmm. Don't answer your, your enemy with your own understanding. Allow the Holy Spirit to advocate for you. I mean, this is nice, beautiful, powerful. Peter, being Peter, who spoke quickly and, you know, sometimes he was really quick to act. But this one here, he allowed the Spirit to fill him up. And allowed the spirit to lead him what to say, how to say it, and nobody could argue. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When you read down here, no one was able to say anything. They were zipped, quiet. Wow. And by the way, the same Peter answered properly, correctly, when Jesus asked, who do men say I am? The same Peter. I mean, when you allow the Holy Ghost, there is no way you can give the wrong answer. Peter knew the secret, yielding to the Holy Ghost and allowing God to do his thing. There is no wrong there. Always victory. So look at what he did. Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said it to them. Rulers and elders of our people. <laughs> and it, it's like he excluded himself. He said, rulers of our people, not rulers, our rulers. <laughs> okay. Are we being questioned today because we have done a good deed for a crippled man? Remember we read Revelation 14. They say, they are good works, even if they are dead, they going to follow them. So this one here is also a good deed to Heal the cripple. To, uh, to cause a cripple to walk in his feet and be like a normal person. And go and live rather than begging and being under somebody's mercy. Is that a bad thing? They were questioning also. They were asking. Is that a bad thing? Yes, it's not a bad thing. The answer is not a bad thing. My goodness. Peter filled with the Holy Ghost to say to them, are we being questioned today because we've done a good thing and that good thing is a good work. It has a reward and the, the works remain. It follows us. So they were followed by the good thing. That person got up. That person was able to walk again. The same as the revelation say, when we do things in the name of the Lord, those works exist. And they don't just exist, they follow us. Now, we are better than any prayer.
creating, sending, commanding, uh, loosing people free. I mean, commanding the mind to be free, commanding the spiritual eyes to be open. I mean, those are good works. Many people are crippled. Hey, Shata, Zalokoto. Many people are crippled. Many people in the churches are blind. Many people in the church don't know where, what to do, where to go. And I mean, confusion. But when in prayer, praying in the name of the Lord, I mean, you are creating spirits which are going to go and set the prisoners free. Just like the church prayed for Peter. They prayed Peter. And, uh, uh, is it Silas? When they were in uh, in, in a prison, they are uh, not Peter. They, the spirit of the Lord went there and opened the prison gates. I mean, the power of prayer. Praying in the name of the Lord. You can literally set a prisoner free. Many people are imprisoned with drugs and with, with, with alcohol and with poverty and with illness and sickness. I mean, prayers, we are told, going to set the sinner, uh, 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 they're going to cause the sinner to be saved and they, the the, 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 the sick to be healed and now we know right here that the church prayed and and peter was set free from the literal gates of of prison he was let go the spirit went there and opened those gates and peter was out led out so when you pray in the name of the Lord, when you send the word to your mama far from you, when you send your word to your brother far from you, I mean, believe you are sending a spirit and that spirit is going to do the work. And those works going to follow. You're going to see the rewards. You're going to see the works done. So here they were like, Really? That's why you are sitting us down. When we do some good, when we pray, when we give, when we cause other people to be happy, is that really a reason for you to question my action, for you to, uh, to talk bad or negative about what I do just because I'm, I'm preaching, just because I'm sending the word, just because I'm, 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 a, I'm a good uh, uh, a steward of what God gave me, so now you are envying me, so now you are talking negative about me, so now you are cursing me. Really, what did I do even wrong? All this I do is good works. But you know, and anyone have, have just, you know, they were full of the devils here. So they were told. But what I'm trying to focus here is doing everything in the name of the Lord. That's where you're going to see the fruits. That's where you're going to feel the boldness. That's where you're going to have all that there is because you are doing it in the one who does it. Psalm 127, without the Lord, you are doing in vain. It's not going to happen. So it's better to do all inside the Lord, in the name of the Lord, so you can have this kind of things happening and people getting free, you know, uh, he healings, miracles, and signs. We need that, right? I do believe we do need it. Okay, so verses, uh, I'm in... Uh, uh, and nine, are we being questioned today because we have done good deeds to a crippled man? Do you want to know how we healed him? Let me clearly state to all of y'all and all, to all the people of Israel that he was healed by the power, by the powerful name of Jesus, the Nazarene. So the, he, he had to explain there. You see that happened is because... <laughs> Of the name. Of the name. Jesus. Wow. So let me go to the verse 11 to save time. For Jesus is the one referred to the scripture where it says, The stone that you builders rejected now has become a cornerstone. There is no salvation in one else. Okay? We're praying 
in the name of the Lord, that's where you see the results, the salvation, and all that good stuff, and all that you want it to happen in the name, only in the name of the Lord. You're going to ask amiss if you're doing without the name. You're going to ask amiss if you're going outside uh, the name of the Lord. Stay in there. Stay in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. There is a, no salvation nowhere else. Uh, Acts, Acts 4, 12. There's no salvation in anyone else. God gave us no other name under the heaven by which we must be saved or by which we must pray about. Jesus himself said, pray in my name. Nothing else going to work except the name of the Lord. Glory to God. So let me skip and go to... Uh, uh, Oh, 13. The members of the council, those who sat down, you know, to question them, they were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John. Or for they could see that they were ordinary men without no special training in the scripture. I mean, the Holy Ghost, when you allow, <laughs> mm -hmm. we don't need no training. We need to train, but I mean, don't wait for train. Start today. Indulge in the Lord, allow the Holy Ghost, because as you say, he was filled first before he opened his mouth. He allowed the Holy Spirit to start talking and answering those, uh, right, those people, the priests and all the other people who were there in that council. He had to allow God to fill him with the power before he opened that mouth. Otherwise, praying, you're going to pray amiss. Before you start praying, worshiping or whatever, allow the flow of the Holy Ghost, allow the one who knows to pray allow the one who knows it to, to the mind of the lord allow the one who gonna reveal the name the will i mean depend on the holy spirit or else it's just gonna be a waste of your time in that prayer closet mm -hmm. he was bold they wondered my goodness why are you guys so bold they were also recognized them as a man who had been with the lord yeah Coming out of prayer, you will, uh, 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 people going to know that you are a man and a woman of prayer because of how you speak on how you handle your business on how you walk on how you confess, you will be changed and you will be a better person and your belief in the Lord Jesus Christ is going to yield the fruits and you will be an, a, a, a vessel. God will depend to co to cause his will to happen in the world because you are in uh, in him doing as he leads glory to God. So they, they were known, uh, uh, that they were with the Lord. Okay, 14, it says, let me go to 16. Uh, what should we do with these people? They started asking, you know, they had to plan now because these people are so powerful. Glory to God. So they, they really didn't have to question them after Peter. They were no question at all. But they went ahead and uh, asked them to, you know, uh, like 15. So they ordered Peter and Paul to come out of the council chamber. They told you, you know what, excuse us a little bit, you know, because uh, they didn't have anything to say. And they didn't want to look foolish there. They just said, can you excuse us? Yeah, you gave us that. We we are, we are thinking of it because you the power had uh, took over the room, the Holy Ghost who was upon Peter has taken over. I mean, who can question the Lord? Who can over talk the Holy Ghost? Who can really flip what the Holy Ghost has put in place? <laughs> they had to say, you know what, excuse us. Please just go outside. <laughs> and verse 16, so what should we do? They started talking to themselves, asking themselves, what should we do? They ask each other, we can't deny <laughs> that they have performed a miracle. We can't deny that your prayer has been answered. We can't deny that you prayed for a sick and got healed. We can't deny you asking for a miracle, financial miracle. And there you go. You paid your rent. We can't deny that you're still alive. You prayed in the name of the Lord. Congratulations. But... They went ahead and said, we can't deny, yes, 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 they did it. And everybody in Jerusalem knows about it. But to keep them from spreading their propaganda or spreading these words around, <laughs> oh my God, they call them propaganda. We must warn them not to speak to anyone. In the name of the Lord. Imagine that. 
They say, we can, let them speak, let them do, let them do whatever that is, but let's do the best we know also to warn them, to threaten them not to do it again, never again to do it in the name of the Lord. You know why? So they can do it in vain. So they can do it without results. So they can do it without manifestation. Because it is in the name only. That's when you're going to get the results. It's in the name of the Lord only that the Father going to hear you and perform what you have petitioned. You are the enemy wants you to do whatever that is. Is it your business? Is it your parenting? Is it work? Is it what are you doing? Are you doing it in the name of the Lord? And I mean, in the name of the Lord doesn't mean you have to say Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus. In the name of the Lord, you may do all those things you are doing even without mentioning Jesus, but you are doing it in him as you are saved. In, you fear the Lord, you avoid the sin, you know who you are in God, you are child of the Lord, you are child of God, born of the Spirit, you you study the Word, you you, you go by by the, 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 the leading of the Holy Spirit, you know you surround yourself, you don't break the wall and skip, you don't, I mean you don't, you don't uh, run away from the fold, you are right in there under His governance, under His leading, under His, you know you are, you are there being hovered over that's in the lord you don't have even to mention jehovah rafa shama mikadesh or jesus christ uh, the, you don't need to even mention you just stay within the boundary being a believer for sure following the footsteps doing all that you need to do acknowledging it, the lord that's what is needed man and woman of god the enemy wants us to do all by our name, you know, chasing after our, our dreams, you know, going after what we, that's why we're asking amiss. That's why our motives are wrong. That's why we are told we pray, but nothing happens because the motives are wrong. We are not in the, the boundary. We are not representing him. We want us to be known. We want us to be heard. We want, you know, uh, to, to, to build our own, Empire. All that is done outside the name of the Lord is vain. It's a just chasing of a wind. You're not going to benefit. It's just going to ruin you. One of these days, you're going to wake up empty. But anything done in the name of the Lord, even when you die, even when you're dead, the rewards will remain because you created it in the, in the spirit. You are covered by the spirit. You are in the spirit. You are led by the spirit of the Lord and you created in the spirit. As we pray, we call those which are not as though they existed. You called it, you created it, and you left it here to do what you were led to do. We are not our own people of God. We are born for God's work, born again for God's work. We were taken from captivity and we were put captive in the Lord so that we can do the good works and those good works should follow us and those who will come after us. It's kind of leaving a legacy of good deeds, of good spirits created by us, of good things we've done and nobody will question what we need to do is to notice when we are being uh, 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 muzzled, masked, not to voice out. You are supposed to speak. And they were told what we should do here. What we should do is, the council now, they were told we have to threaten them to not speak again. Let them not speak. They can do, but let them not speak. And why there is a, a, a why not speak? The cause is the power in speech. Speaking, 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 speak life, speak, 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 continue to speak. And not outside the Lord, but in the Lord. Okay? So that you can see the result. Let the enemy not 
quench you. Allow the flow, bubble, continue flowing. Allowing that creation continue and continue and continue. Because the enemy also is not sleeping. Why do we need to sleep? No, we don't want to. Wow. Let's go to 17. But to keep them from spreading, you know, so they can keep them from, you know, doing what they are doing and bringing the name of the Lord higher and higher. They wanted them to be muzzled, masked up and zipped up, upset and quiet and get in depression. No, involve your soul. Let your soul be involved in prayer. Go in prayer with all your mind, your will, and all your emotions, joyous, f- f- happy. Get in there. Partner with the Lord to create spirits which are good, spirits which are for happiness, spirits to set people free, spirits to heal. I mean, spread it far and, if, and near. Touch people before, even before you see them. That's why we are here. Okay? That's why we are here. 21. The council then threatened them further, but they finally let them go because they didn't know how to punish them. <laughs> they didn't know how to punish them. They, they, they just let them go. That's what we want, to be let go. To be let go. Okay? Involve yourself in praying in the name of the Lord because that's where there is a fruit. That's where there is a reward and those rewards are not to, uh, 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 to remain. You remember that scripture which says, you know, bear fruit and the fruit that remains. That's what it is. Revelation is telling us even those who have died in the Lord, their deeds are following. That means those fruits are remaining. Why? Because they are born in the spirit. Once their spirit, their spirit don't die. And once they are good, they're needed because the sin is continuing. So when you pray for the spirit to uh, convicting people from being sinners and, and you, know, you know, change, you, you want it around until the end of the world. Because people are con- going to continue being convicted. The enemy going to continue doing what he's doing. But if you spoke a word and the spirit was born or created and now is all over the place in your communities, in your cities, and wherever that place is needed, is there working even when you sleep? Father, we thank you for this lesson today. We bless your name, Father. We thank you because you're good to us. Holy Spirit, wow, you you taught us today. And we thank you for we are going to be a doer of this word. Help us. Help us. Oh, help us. We want to continue doing in your name. So we won't do any praying in vain or at our own ambition. We want to exalt and glorify you, our Father. Jesus, we love you. You did all that and you are still doing. We thank you. Holy Spirit, ooh, the breath. <laughs> we are able to pray without ceasing because you are the breath. We are breathing in and out. And as we do, we are creating. Father, we thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, we indulge ourselves in, we choose to remain, we choose to do what we have been commanded to do, and that is to pray without ceasing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so very much, everybody, and this is your sister again, Ando. Hallelujah. Have enjoyed all this one hour. I do believe you have enjoyed, and please, Love the scripture, love the Lord, and do all that you need to do in him so that you can be able to leave a legacy of what you created in prayer. Amen. (laughs) Thank you so very much. And this is Ando from the Verse Podcast, whereby we help believers believe. Bye-bye for today.